Hey everybody, and welcome to Take the Stairs. This is episode 10, and thank you all for joining us. Um, as always, check us out on Twitter at Take the Stairs Podcast, or email us at Take the Stairs Podcast at gmail.com. All right, boys, so what are we drinking tonight? Uh, I'm drinking another Cabernet from Trader Joe's. It's the Coastal, has a lighthouse on it. It's pretty cool. Dope. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I can't believe you already cracked that open, considering you just bought it this morning. I was too excited. <laughs> I, myself, I'm having a cup of oat milk. Milk? Milk. Yeah, pretty good. Wow, going with oat milk again two weeks in a row. That's strong. Yeah, yeah. It's a good drink. You underestimate it. Just give it a try. That's the last type of milk I'm a, I think I'll ever try. Well, it's but fantastic. You are missing it. I'm having water and spinach and orange juice. I'm too hungry to drink alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's dive into this J. Cole concert that we were talking about beforehand. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Take away, so uh went to a J. Cole concert last night. Trey, what were your thoughts, takeaways from it? Um... It was awesome. Um, Like, well, first of all, I guess the upsetting news was that it was three hours late. Um, uh, So we were actually waiting in line outside of the Greensboro Coliseum for three hours, um, waiting for them to open the doors. Um, But it was fine, though, because we actually saw 21 Savage get there, so that was pretty dope. Um uh, and then it started three hours late. But he, like, J. Cole literally apologized multiple times. Um, he's, like, very professional about it. Um, and it was a blast anyway. So definitely worth the wait. It was not a problem with that. Yeah, it was good. I mean, it was a good concert. I When 21 Savage pulled up in the car, I had absolutely no idea who he was. Like, <laughs> I didn't know that was 21 Savage. The only reason <laughs> I knew it was him was because that crazy... Like forty year old woman who was flipping her shit at seeing Twenty One Savage. Yeah. Next to us. Um, yeah. I was astounded by how much white girls love to scream the N word. Um, <laughs> it definitely <laughs> shows up at the concert. No, they were they were going so hard. <laughs> My yeah. Dude, we were, we were just like surrounded by like white girls, and they were all going so hard on the songs. Like they knew every word. Yeah. They were, like, it's not like they were just rapping it. They were screaming every <laughs> word, like, voice cracks. Um, it, was, yeah. it was crazy. And, like, is it, at one point, J. Cole played a lot, of, fr- a lot from his first studio album. Um, and they knew, like, all the words to that, too. I was pretty impressed. They were definitely huge fans behind us. They knew way more than I did, for sure. So, that was cool. Same. But, yeah, it was a good time. Um, I also, one funny thing about it is, you know, J. Cole's like really tall. He's like six feet tall at least. Um, and, uh, I mean, he plays, played basketball and, uh, I didn't really notice, but he made 21 Savage look so short on stage. It was kind of (laughs) funny. Oh really? Did you see a picture? Yeah. Yeah. It was just like, or even like at the concert, you could kind of tell, I mean, we were kind of far away, but, um. He j- J. Cole, J. Cole's just so tall. J. Cole six two. Just looked it up. Yeah, so he's almost as tall as me. Dang. Yep. But uh, there is a video. I did find a video on YouTube from last night. As uh, the like him walking out. It was cool. Like he walked out to like um, an announcer. Like at a basketball game, he was like J. Cole, six foot two, from Fayetteville, North Carolina, or whatever, and he like walked out. It was pretty cool. I like that. Part. It was a hype entrance. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good concert. Uh, Riley, have you ever been to a rap concert? Yeah, I saw Chance. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah. Back All in right. high school, like my senior year of high school, I went and saw Chance the rapper. How was that? Uh, it was really good, man. It was a really good show. Uh, I don't remember it super well at all, but it was really cool. I remember it just being like 
super like theatrical. His brother played drums on one song. It was really cool. But no, it was great. But similar to what you were saying, yeah, everybody was just going crazy. There was all the words. And I was like, I knew like a couple songs, but I did not know nearly as much as other people were. But Damn, no, I was some like, people are like diehards. Yeah. The, we, um... yeah uh, it was like standing room where our tickets. So we got there like, I think four or five hours early and just stood outside <laughs> waiting mm -hmm. so we could get the best. Uh, like spot when when they open the doors. But... Yeah, did it work out? Yeah, no, we got pretty good seats. Cool. Well, we didn't have seats, but a good spot to stand. So. <laughs> but oh my god, my legs were so tired at the end of that concert. Dude, I'm sure. I mean, you were probably standing up for like eight hours. Yeah, exactly. It was rough. <laughs> no, it was really good. He was fantastic. Yeah, I mean, we had to wait for three hours outside for them mm -hmm. to open the doors but thank yeah. god it wasn't raining dude yeah that would have been brutal that would have been yeah. horrible but also at the same time when they did open the doors it still took us 30 minutes to get through like the security i guess because the way they set it up was horrible at the coliseum it was so bad so unorganized the first thing we did was buy alcohol once we got inside <laughs> yeah <laughs> We <laughs> just waited outside for three hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was my first rap concert. Uh, and yeah, it was cool. Yeah, me too. You know, unique experience. Mm hmm I was, like, he did a really good job, because I've always worried about, like, um, that he would just, like, play the music and, like, dance around on stage and not actually, like, rap or sing. But, no, he, like, absolutely rapped the whole time. Like, to the point where at the end, like, he couldn't anymore. Like, his, like, voice was, like, he didn't have his voice by the end of it. Yeah, he did sound terrible by the end. Yeah. He actually, he had to cancel. He was supposed to play a date tonight and then a date tomorrow night. He had mm -hmm. to cancel both of those shows because the reason why there was such a delay was that there was a light, like, apparently their light show takes really long to upload when they get to the venue. Um, and so they had to postpone these upcoming shows to fix their light situation. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Also, Tw 21 Savage got arrested yesterday. Um, <laughs> and so he had to post <laughs> bail and get out of jail um, yeah. to make the show. But he he's committed because he was still at the show. Yeah, honestly, got to respect him for showing up to Greensboro, yeah. North Carolina on that one. Yeah. He he could have he could have pulled the I'm in prison card, you know, and you know that's feasible. Um, but he I still guess, showed up. Good alibi. <laughs> yeah. Do we know what he got arrested for? It was weapons charges and then something to do with drugs. Okay. Well, he also has multiple issues with ICE, um, due to his immigration status. Gotcha. Yeah. Hmm. Where's he from? I don't know where he's from. He is from Britain, um, but he grew up here. Like he, he grew up in Atlanta. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Yep. He, I, I think he's an illegal immigrant, because otherwise, why would ICE be giving him shit? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, um, he faced two new charges two days ago, uh, and he's from London. As well, that's where he was born. But, yeah, grew up in Atlanta. There we go. You know your shit, Grant. Yeah. 21 Savage X. I actually, uh, somebody gave me the rundown right before this podcast, actually. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, so this person told me that this person grew up in Atlanta. And they told me that um, they went to see 21 like before he was huge uh, at a club in downtown Atlanta. He was supposed to start playing at 8. He didn't show up until 12. And then he played for five minutes and left. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's not good. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, 21 Savage played like five or six songs uh, in between. 
J. Cole playing. Uh, and me and Grant didn't know anything. <laughs> we were, and it was like, well, J. Cole like played a lot of his songs, and then 21 came on, and then J. Cole played like a few more after. But So we were like pretty tired by the time 21 Savage came on, and we didn't know his songs. And so we were just kind of standing there like exhausted. We were like just kind of waiting for J. Cole to get back on. We were like, uh... <laughs> Dude, I was like yawning, like just, <laughs> just dreaming of going to sleep. I was so... <laughs> Yeah, it it cuz it was like 1 a.m. by the time 21 got on, so uh we it was already super late and everything, so That's crazy, man. Yeah, we were just exhausted by that point. <laughs> yeah. There's always like it's always weird when there's like another artist like you buy tickets for somebody and there's another uh performer there and it's like Mhm. When they're playing their music, it always seems like, oh my gosh, please, um, please give me who I bought tickets for. Yeah, like, a lot of people at the show knew his songs, because like 21 Savage is very popular, you know, yeah. but um, I don't like listen to his music that much, uh, so I didn't know, but I mean, I think a lot of people still enjoyed it, and it was still like fun, it was still cool to see him, but... Yeah. It was just funny because me and Grant were both just exhausted by that point. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Man. Yeah, dude. I remember when I saw when I saw Chance. There was a. Oh man, I don't know who what he was called, but he was a DJ, mm-hmm. and he opened, and he played for like two hours. The but, opener. Yeah, <laughs> long time. Oh my but God, it was so cool. Like he was just up there DJing, mixing stuff. So it was like this massive dance party. The whole Coliseum was just like raging, and he's just up there playing tunes, like getting everybody hype. Yeah, but, dude, that's awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, I thought it, I, it was a good concert overall. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, the opener for the concert is Moray. And I've been listening to, like, all his songs all day. Uh, added them to, like, playlists and stuff. He was really good. He was a good opener. Yeah, he only has one album on Spotify that came out this year. But he is definitely, I think he's going to blow up, especially after this tour with J. Um, Cole. Because he's really good. And he's, like kind of a singer like singer hip-hop artist and he raps a little bit too he's really good yeah yeah he he's really he's got a killer voice yeah he's in my life like he sings the the chorus to my life oh i was wondering who's saying that yeah that that's him yeah he's got a really good voice gotcha yeah yep yeah. I like that song. Yeah, so like after 21 played, they did My Life, like all of them on stage because they're all in that song. Yeah. Um, and it was cool. I really like that. Yeah. Sick. Mm hmm. All right, Riley. So, how am I supposed to train for Spartan Race? <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, uh, let's see. Wow. You said you read something about it, right? I did. I started doing some homework since, uh, you know, we're about to uh, embark on this journey together. Mm-hmm. And, uh, honestly, I didn't do <laughs> much research yet, but Not the stuff that I did find seemed to focus on, like, um, a lot of pulling stuff. It says a lot of obstacles have you pull against your body weight. So, to focus on pull-ups and bent over rows, things like that. And then... Um, other exercises I saw were a combination of like cardio and burpees. So like, or cardio and strength training. So like burpees with a pull up incorporated and then, uh, like bear crawls, stuff like that. But that sounds terrible. Yeah. It sounds awful. But if you think about it, I mean, I, I think just train functionally is the key. Mm-hmm. Because all these obstacles are just going to be like crawling under stuff and pulling. And, I don't know. 
Which I'm literally not training functionally at all right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What what are you training specifically right now? Bro, so I'm basically training like it's called hypertrophy, which is essentially bodybuilding. Um, yes, I know about hypertrophy. Yeah, yeah. So you just work one muscle group, so like just triceps on one day, and you just yeah. fucking crush them, and then you give them a week's rest, and then, and then you do, you know, legs the next day, and then chest, and then biceps, shoulders, back, all that kind of stuff. That's cool. Yeah. You're gonna be the next Arnold. Well, I'm only gonna do it for three months, and then we're back to the functional stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just doing it for injury prevention and just to get a little stronger. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think it's important to always switch up how you're training uh, your body. Yeah. Like if, you, if you just keep it the same all the time, then there's... I don't know, your body gets used to it. And then you work the same things in the exact same way. I feel like you have a greater potential for injury. But... Dude, it's amazing how quickly, like, my body type puts on mass. Like. Yeah. I was hitting I was hitting 145 the other day on the scale after just working out like this for two weeks. Jeez, see, I envy that so much. I can't do that. Well, no, it's bad because then like I went for a run after not running for two weeks and I felt like fat because I was so much heavier than I'm used to <laughs> being. <laughs> no, it's good, but you're putting on muscle mass so fast. Like, I can't do that. It you it took me so long. Yeah, I actually have gained a little weight, so that's good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Bible makes a return. No, yeah, I need to start reading the scripture. And... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, where did you get that book? Amazon. Actually, that's a lie. Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I follow Stan Efforting on Instagram, though, and so I knew that he had been writing a book for years, and then it finally came out. Gotcha. I've been waiting for it for a while. Oh, yeah. Yep. So, He's, are you following the vertical diet? Mm-hmm. Oh, dang. I didn't know you were, like, completely following it. Well, I did it today because I ate four hot dogs, but, uh... Um... Well, yeah. <laughs> That's true. Trey took me to this fucking place called Yum Yums. Yes! <laughs> Jesus Christ. First of all, I go in there and I'm like, do y'all have anything other than hot dogs? <laughs> and they're like, no. No. <laughs> I've never heard of that place. Wait, wait. That Doesn't that mean you've knocked off like 15 years of your life or something? Yeah. <laughs> According to that study we covered. Yeah. I don't remember what we talked about before. I don't remember. I think you lose time. 35 minutes each hot dog you eat. Oh, 35 minutes. So Grant yeah. lost an hour and a half today. Yeah. Dude, Jeez. wasn't it days? I'm pretty sure it was days. No, I thought it was just half an hour. Jesus, I hope it's half an hour. <laughs> I'll find it. <laughs> yeah. If it's a day, that's <laughs> terrible. Day. Yeah, I thought it was just like 35 minutes, so it wasn't that bad. <laughs> If it's days, I've probably lost like a year of my life. I know. But but the equivalent, I mean, eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, they said, was kind of the equivalent to making it back up. So Yeah. I, I remember that. Well, I do eat those a lot. Yeah. Who is doing this research? This is the most absurd thing I've ever I heard. I know. I don't know how you could put a time stamp on a food item, but. Yeah, I don't remember who did it. Somebody's measuring PBJs against tacos. Yeah, I guess so. But damn, Yum Yum had killer hot dogs. They were insanely good. Oh, yeah. Riley, if you ever come through here, we're going to Yum Yum. All right, I'm coming through. Mm -hmm. It is on UNCG's campus, so that's why we went there. It's really, it's right, literally in the middle of campus. Nice, okay. Yeah, so it's a staple. It's been there for decades. Sick. It's a classic. Have to drop my yum yums next time. Yep, and they have really good ice cream. Like they have homemade ice cream, super good. Ooh, that sounds good. Yep. Dude, I love ice cream. I think that's one of my biggest weaknesses. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. 
Yeah. Ooh. It felt good to walk through a college campus again. Yeah. <laughs> did you like the campus? I did. I was I was very impressed by it. Good. Yeah. I I think it's really nice. I like it. It's way it's way bigger than apps. So. Yeah, there's a lot bigger. There's it's more spacious. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice. It was a cool place. I would say though, I, it would be hard for me to imagine like going to like, like. <laughs> <laughs> we are uh, experiencing some technical difficulties, but. Um, Let's well, take guesses on what he was going to say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was deep in thought and just got cut well, off. <laughs> going to Mars. Yeah, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I just kind of showed him around campus today. and you know, internet school. connection is terrible tonight. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going what on with going you today. What is going on? I know. You've right. been consistent for nine episodes, and on the tenth one, it just goes to shit. Yeah, I have no idea what's <laughs> going on. That's fine. Uh, we'll have some fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to guess what you were going to say. Try and finish your sentence, if it ever cuts oh, out well. again. There's no telling what is about to come out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the um I'm really excited to do the Spartan race. I think another thing to train is like farmers carry. Yeah. It would the thing. What I read basically said grip strength. So like upper body strength and grip strength is what people typically are lacking. It's what holds people back. So I mean that was music to my ears because I mean, I'm training grip strength all the time, but yeah. So we'll see. I think what's gonna hurt me is that it's 13 miles long. So you know, it's honestly, I, I think the running is gonna be the easiest part because like so. it's 30 obstacles, right? Yeah. So 30 divided by all right. That forget that. So just you're splitting up thirty obstacles, okay, on on thirteen miles. So it's not like you're just running half a marathon because yeah. you get to break it up, you know, <laughs> like every obstacle you get to. The math of a political science major, right there, folks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. So like I remember when I did the the six mile race that I've done. Yeah. Uh, I remember thinking that the running was not hard because the obstacles break it up. Yeah. I hope so. And and as even though you're working on obstacles, maybe that'll be it's kind of the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but. you know, just like a, hit a little like slow jog, you know. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not looking to sprint through this thing. Well, but. I'm not either. <laughs> I'm literally going to do no running for this. <laughs> I am going to not run for two months and then go do this. Hey, I am. I am finishing though. I'll tell you that right now. Well, hell yeah, we're finishing it. Yeah. Well, when I was researching like the tough mutters and things, it was like maybe it wasn't that. It might have been Iron Man, but I just remember reading one of them had a time limit, like. You have to finish within a time limit. Okay. But. Well, we will definitely win. We will succeed. Oh, we will definitely succeed. There is no other option. No doubt in my mind. Yeah. There is no way I'm about to do a Spartan race and not complete it. Oh, I agree. I don't care if I break my paying. fucking leg. Yeah. I'm not paying that money to not finish. <laughs> I'm yep. training over the next month and a half. Yeah, it will be exciting. I'm looking yeah. forward to it. I'm very excited for it. Um, Boys, it's a new one, so. so, since y'all are going to do that, I thought I'd bring up something that I'm going to do. Um, so, starting, y'all are going to do it with me, too. I'm, I'm making you. Um, okay, deal. So, starting in October, which is Saturday? Yes. Right? Okay. So, starting on Saturday... I'm going to do 25 burpees every day in the month of October. I take it back. I'm not doing that. 
<laughs> yes, you're doing it because you have to do it because it's for the American Cancer Society. Well, shit, I'm doing it. Yep, exactly. So basically, uh, if you want to sign up, um, it's on um, Facebook. It's like a fundraiser thing going around. So try and like, okay. it's kind of like, you remember like the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge? Yeah, yeah. It's the exact same thing, but it's the burpee challenge. So, um, yeah, you d basically you can just like donate on Facebook or you can just share to friends on Facebook and try and get them to donate. But basically you're just going to do 25 burpees every day in October. Cool. So I'm doing it. You guys obviously don't have to, but I recommend doing it. I would definitely rather do 25 burpees every day than have... A ice bucket poured on me <laughs> true yeah i mean yeah. 25 burpees sounds like a lot but i mean it's yeah. not too bad i mean you can break it up throughout the day like there's no rules just yeah. do 25 yeah it's really not a lot i mean that's very doable 25 burpees takes three minutes for yeah. you <laughs> i would agree yeah for you no, i mean it takes three minutes it's not gonna take me three minutes to do this <laughs> Let's see, for a superhuman, yes. Three, three. <laughs> for your well, average human being. If one day, I'll do it as fast as I can, and I'll record it. Do okay. it. I want to see it. All right. Yeah, Deal. Yeah, I'll, well, I'll we'll do have... 25 as fast as I can. Yeah, I With good it. form. With good form. Of course. You have to have good form. Yeah. yeah. So it, I and, did, so... and real push-ups, too. Chest to ground. You're right. You're fucking right about that. Just to ground, walk around. Yeah. And also, your jump at the top, it's better be minimum six inches. Oh, my God. <laughs> people, <laughs> dude, people bitch out on that jump at the top of They burping. do. They do. A lot of people, I think it's even harder if you raise your hands, too. You got to get a clap at the top. Yeah, people don't do that either. Yeah, yeah. I definitely don't go for the clap. You gotta get the clap. A real burpee. Uh, it's yeah. always a lazy hug. Well, arms are just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you can even call it a jump. So, 20, there's 31 days in October, right? Yes. Alright, look at this redemption right here. 25 times 31 is 775 burpees. Alright. How many days are in October? 31. Thank you. I thought you said 21. <laughs> okay, he's not stupid. <laughs> um, I swear he said 21. <laughs> I said 25 times 31. Uh, there, there are, um, it's kind of funny because people will record themselves. Like people are like training, I guess, to start the thing, you know. And practicing burpees because some people have signed up haven't even done burpees before, which is fine though because I'm glad that they're getting involved. Um, yeah, getting after it. But some people are like recording themselves and posting it to the Facebook page for um, American Cancer Society Challenge, and um, the forum is it's looking rough. <laughs> like people are being rude or what? No, no, no. Like the form of people's burpees are not oh. good. Like, we yeah. need a, they need to post on the page, like, an instructional how to do a proper form burpee or something. <laughs> well, do y'all remember, I think it was a year, maybe two years ago. I don't remember what the challenge was, but there was some challenge about push-ups. Um, and, like, all these celebrities were posting about it, and, like, they all had just the shittiest push-up forms. And it's like, wasn't even a lot that you had to do. I don't remember. I know there's the 22 push-ups for the military, but yeah. I don't remember when that is. Is it November? I don't know. I don't know when it is, but I don't it know if that was the, it or not. The bring Sally up and down thing. <gasps> oh. That was trendy. Well, that one you can't really fake. That's yeah, true. Yeah, that one's so slow you have to. Yeah. Yeah, that's... That is legit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's hard. It's so hard. Yeah, that was really difficult. Dude, yeah. funny enough, the first, like, Spartan race I did, 
Uh, I actually remember, like, that was when the Bring Sally Up Challenge came out. And I remember, like, doing that to train for it. Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Did it work? Dude, honestly, I felt great when I did the, the 10K version. Yeah. Like, no factor. And I was 15 then. It should be so much easier now. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That I was kind of questioning doing the twenty-one k, but I think we'll be fine. Like, I don't think it's gonna be a, a problem. It's gonna be so hard, but oh, it's gonna be hard. But it's yeah, definitely, it's definitely doable. I think. You yeah, can do it. I think it's gonna be really hard, but I don't think you guys are gonna have a problem finishing it. Yeah. Damn straight. Yeah, y'all got this for sure. Oh yeah, I'm pumped. Yeah. Yesterday I was just feeling the energy. I did a huge workout and then I also went on a long run later in the day. My legs are toast now. <laughs> but hopefully they'll be back back to their former selves tomorrow. Get the kettlebells out. Mm. Grinding again. Yeah. Nothing like the steel balls. Oh my god. Those those are the greatest tool for creating pain. I don't I I don't recommend anything else. Go to the gym, play with your barbells, whatever. Whatever makes you happy. All you need is a kettlebell. <laughs> yeah, I mean I'm with you. I, I love a good kettlebell. It is phenomenal. I didn't tell you guys this. We had to do an infographic in one of my classes. Mm -hmm. Maybe I did tell you. I did my infographic on kettlebells <laughs> and posted a giant picture of Joe Rogan on there. Flipping, <laughs> he was cleaning his gorilla bell. <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised they didn't give you an F for using Joe Rogan. No, they gave me an A. Damn. There you yeah. go. I feel like people hate Joe. Yeah, I guess he's got mixed reviews. But... Well, I mean, he's the most listened podcast there is. So. Yeah. yeah. People be hating on him, though. Yeah. yeah. Well, he's be famous enough. Yeah, people yeah. are always going to hate on you if you're successful. I love how when Joe got COVID, like, everybody was like, I hope you fucking die. <laughs> like, <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, People like, really are so terrible. That's there. awful. Dude, yeah, like, it, it, people are just horrible. Oh, I mean, the same thing with, like, Trump. Yeah. And, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, and, I mean, I'm sure there's other celebrities. Like, it's awful. Uh, that was more understandable, to be fair. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. that's different. <laughs> but still, <laughs> it's still just crazy to think that you would say that. Or think that it is crazy anyways moral of the story everyone should get kettlebells <laughs> everyone. I, everyone. No, I'm with you. I will say though I have been falling in love with the barbell <laughs> that's old school <laughs> I mean, the kettlebells are great, and I love them, and I will always train with them, but there is nothing, like, just, you just can't put that much weight on a kettlebell, whereas, like, there is nothing, like, just loading up a barbell. That is true. Thing. I guess once you hit a certain level, a barbell is kind of needed mm -hmm. to get up the weight. Yeah, I mean, deadlifting back squat are, like, two of the funnest exercises on the planet. That is true. Deadlifting with like my kettlebells doesn't seem. I mean, it's definitely doing something, but it's not like when you just get a barbell. Yeah, it's just not very hard. Yeah. But holy hell, cleaning and snatching those things—it gets me so tired. Mm-hmm. Do you remember waking up? Like early and going to lift at uh, the Quinn. Yeah, I remember. Y'all were crazy. 
Those yeah. are babies. We were getting after it. I remember when your ass went to wake up, I just blare the swan by Iron Sword. Oh, In stereo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those were the days. What a great song. I haven't listened to that song forever. I remember waking up to that a few times. I haven't listened to that since we went to the beach and we played it. <laughs> yeah. Break that bad boy out. That might be my morning song tomorrow. <laughs> it's a rough way to start the day. It's a great way to start the day. I've got a new uh, artist for you to listen to, Riley. Oh, yeah? Who is it? Russ. R-U-S-S. Okay. I think you'll like him. That's it? Just Russ? Yeah, Russ. Oh, okay. I'll send you some good songs. Freed Up, Paranoid, uh, Murder Me. Those are three of my favorites. All right, I'll check it out. Mm -hmm. Grant, th thank you for saying that because... Uh, you told me about him yesterday, and I was trying to find it today, and I couldn't remember because <laughs> I wanted to listen to his music. But Dude, I got it. So good. I got it down. Yeah. All the pieces are good. Yep. Well, do we want to get into our movie and TV show viewings of the week? <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. All right. Riley. Y'all go first. I have to make up something. All right. <laughs> you, you started off, Riley. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, I watched Skyfall. Yes. Oh. Oh. Let's Such go. A good, Such a good movie. It's so good. It is a good movie. But, yeah, I, I figured I better start trying to recap all of the Bond storyline before this new one comes out. I'm pretty stoked for it. So. I actually need to do that. I didn't realize what date it was. Um, I need to watch all of them. Yeah, it's like next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy. I really need to get on that. I'm so excited for that movie, but... No, yeah, I think Skyfall might be my favorite Bond movie with Daniel Craig. No, I'm serious. I'm serious, dude. I have arguments for this. What? What is your arguments against? Casino Royale is one of the greatest movies ever made. No, that that one's great, but Skyfall's better, man. It is. <laughs> Skyfall's no. better. No, it is not. It is, man. It Casino is. Royale is legitimately, not just James Bond, it's legitimately one of the greatest movies ever made. Casino Royale is a phenomenal movie. I will give you that. I can't, I'm not taking anything away from that movie. But I love Skyfall because it's got all these little, like, it pays homage to, like, the Bonds of the past. Like, they bring in the old Aston Martin the cool old like theme song on the guitar all these little details um there's something else too like money pennies in there and then like m's office at the end like it mm -hmm. looks like the office from like when sean connery was born but cute uh, it's just all this little classic stuff that reminds me of like growing up watching those movies with my dad because we Watch the old Bond movies. So. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Skyfall's a great movie. I will give you that. What do you What do you think about this new one? Do you think it's gonna be good? Yeah, I mean, I think it will be. I don't know that. Usually, when they make like tons of sequels, they go downhill. But I don't know. How can you not be excited about James Bond? Okay, does he die? Nah, I don't think he dies. I doubt it. I highly doubt he dies. There's no way. Maybe they'll do like a, a Dark Knight where like, you mm. don't know. That seems I likely. Think, I think it would also make me mad. 
<laughs> I think he's going to die or they're going to do something like that. I don't think he's going to die. Or maybe he will finally have found love again after Vesper and he will learn to live like to leave behind the violent life and live a life peacefully. But they they did that already. In uh in in Spectre? Yeah. Yeah. He he likes he's going to leave with that blonde girl and then I don't know what the hell happens. Yeah, it doesn't work out. Yeah, apparently, it doesn't work out. But that's what he was doing at the end. He was going to be done. But that, that's my problem. Like, how do you finish James Bond? It's either he dies or he finally is able to love again and he gives it all up. Yeah. There's, there's no other thing. Or he stays an agent. I mean, yeah. I guess. Um, but he's so fucking old. Yeah, he is really old at this point, so. You know what's crazy? Is, like, I'm reading this book right now in the CIA. A lot of, like, like, there are some CIA agents that are, like, in their 70s getting after it. I bet. I would imagine that we had people of all different ages. Damn. Dude, one of the first people we sent into Afghanistan after 9-11, he was 72 years old. That's crazy. It is crazy. He was a CIA um, uh, paramilitary officer. That's cool. Yeah, wild. Send a 72-year-old to Afghanistan. He's probably smarter than... <laughs> The most people. I personally, I don't want. I don't like that they made that James fell in love with that uh other girl, again. Yeah. Because she was no Vesper. Yeah. And there yeah. will never be another Vesper. No. And so I, I think you have to kill him. He either has to die or spend the rest of his life as an agent. Yeah, I I don't think he's gonna end up with her at the end. Because I don't know what the storyline is, but it seems like she's connected to this new bad guy so much. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I have a feeling she like betrays him or something. I don't know. I, mean, I have no idea. But... Eh, it can't be that easy for James. I'm really curious to see how they wrap it up. I'm I'm very intrigued. Me too. That's what makes Casino Royale such a good movie. Is like. It's not a James Bond movie. It's how a regular guy turns into James Bond. Uh, I guess so, but he's already like... I suppose. So, so hear me out. Casino Royale starts with him becoming a double O, okay? Or... So that's his first time becoming a double O before... He was uh, just a regular agent, and he had been, you know, he had joined the military, he had been a naval officer, worked his way up, gotten to MI6, and then he's still a new double O, nothing on his name, you know, he just, he's good at poker, so they send him to go play. He falls in love with Vesper and realizes that the violent profession isn't worth it, that love is more important. He's going to give it all up, and then she dies and breaks his heart, and that loss is so painful and numbing to him that he becomes 007. He becomes just that agent who doesn't matter what's going to happen to him, because he doesn't care. He has nothing to lose. He lost the person he loved more than anything. True, true. Like, that's why it's such a good movie. I can't argue with you with that. I mean, you're right. And that's a phenomenal story. Yeah. It's the best James Bond there is. Uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> there's just, there's so many different iterations of Bond now. Like, and they all have their special things. Who will be the next? That's the question. 
Yeah, it'll be interesting. Well, Trey, what did uh, what did you watch this week? <laughs> oh, I watched a movie, and it blew my mind. Uh, it's not very popular, but it was kind of crazy, and I really liked it actually. Um, it's called Level Sixteen. Um, so basically, I don't think I don't know any uh, actors in it at all. Um, it's a Netflix film. I th I'm pretty sure. Um, actually, don't quote me on that. But um, so basically, it starts with these. Um, they're like. I don't know, I guess like teenage girls and they're like in um, a school, but it's like a boarding school. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So they're in a boarding school and, but they like don't have families and um, they're basically, their goal is to get to level 16 and then, these are complete spoilers by the way, um, <laughs> so <laughs> if you want to go watch, I recommend watching it. Um, but any listeners that want to skip ahead, do so. Um, so it's just too crazy. I got to explain this. So they want to get to level 16 and the levels are completely there. It's basically their age. So like yeah. level 16, they turn 16 and they want to get to the floor 16. So it's like they go by floors and, um, so eventually, and once th once they get to level sixteen, they're supposed to get adopted to their new family. Okay. And their main thing, like their taught, is to have like clean, be very clean, and all that stuff. So that's like the I don't know, like I don't know. That's just like they're not really in school, really. Yeah. They just they don't do much. They're just taught to be clean, and but eventually the girls get to level sixteen. And some weird stuff's going on, and, like, they notice there's some, like, different, I don't know, like, they have guards, and, like, the guards are acting weird, and, like, eventually they get to the point where um, some people are, are going to, like, go and potentially meet their new families. Okay. But what happens is... They, instead of meeting the new family to become, like, adopted, these kids are growing up and literally, like, it's kind of like, oh, God, I don't know how to explain this. It's insane. Like, <laughs> basically, when they meet, like, their new family, what happens is, the family is picking the girl. They're like choosing which girl they want. So that the like mom, I guess it's not a mom though. The wife can have that girl's skin. What? Yes. So basically this whole place is a farm for like girls so that like older women can have skin transplant skin transplants and it's insane what in the so it's like a black market thing in me. russia and it's like they like raise these girls from a young age and they don't go outside cuz like the skin damage or the sun damages your skin and they like completely they're like always clean and they're like drugged and shit and it's insane Huh. Why do you have to wait till they're 16 to harvest their skin? That just seems like a... I guess they're like, that's when they're most grown, I guess. At that point, you... you I don't know. This, yeah, maybe the skin doesn't... Well, yeah, there's not as much skin to harvest if they're younger. Yeah. So they're like, wait till they're grown, I guess. Oh, that's so messed up. Dude, it is crazy. And the whole movie... I know I, I spoiled it, but the whole movie is so intense. <laughs> like, yeah. it's just a build up for an hour and a half until the end where you finally, you're just trying to figure out what's actually going on the whole time. You're like living 
like with the girls and they're like trying to figure out what's actually going on and it's just nuts. Good lord. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. Damn. I may have to watch that. that it's a good movie. Really it I, like it has low ratings. I'm kind of surprised. I would like it's a it's a good movie. Dude, honestly, the ratings on there I do not follow it. Yeah, I don't trust them. It, it I love movies like that where just intense and they just built it up so well. It was awesome. You all always talk about the weirdest fucking movies. <laughs> You gotta branch out a little bit. Yeah, like, man. Last week you talked about that Korean show where like they yeah. play kids and they kill each other or something. I don't even know what it's. What it was. <laughs> Wind game. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> Which that one did sound interesting too. I I want to check that out. Yeah, it was good. It's definitely a very interesting comments. I like those kind of things that. It makes you think a lot, like yeah, thing idea or concept or like that. Yeah. yeah, and like so, just the movie is, it's a fictional movie, but really? if you really think about it, <laughs> stuff like that could actually be happening, and it probably is happening, like crazy yeah. shit like that. I Can mean, they really just put somebody's skin on you. Well, and I don't know about like that specifically, but like just things like using people and stuff like that. You know, just you know, like that general idea, like the black market stuff, or you know, it's just that stuff's probably going on all the time. It's just crazy. To think about. Oh well, yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, like it just yeah, yeah. I'm sure there's things like that for like harvesting organs and. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I mean, sex trafficking, I guess, is a great example. Yeah, like that. We all know that definitely goes on. Awful example, actually. But. Yeah. So it's, it was, yeah, it's just nuts. I, I definitely recommend watching it. It's only an hour and 40 minutes, too, so it's on the shorter side. So um, yeah. it's it's good. It's it's really good. Ooh, I'm check that one out. Mm -hmm. there are a few things that i mean a lot of movies nowadays they always do like just stupid stuff it's like okay that's dumb like um you run past a camera and the camera doesn't see you you know shit like that so a little bit of that happens in it but other than that it's a great movie sick i think uh the only thing I've watched that's new this week, because I'm still watching Peaky Blinders, um, is Survivor. Oh, Survivor has a new season that came out. Yeah. So I've watched the first episode of that, and they're, they've changed the show. I'm not a big fan of that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it was good. It was good to see. It. I haven't watched Survivor in years, so it was good. Ooh. Yeah, I had to watch that one since I was, man, like real little, and my parents watched it. Yeah, me too. Dude, when I was growing up, that was like my favorite show. I never watched it really, unless my parents were watching it. I'm surprised you don't like it since you're like you like the outdoors and stuff so much. Well, honestly, I just never like gotten into it. It's not that I don't like it; I just never really given it a chance. I think it's a really interesting show. Like, if you're in, well, you're into both of these things. If you're into the outdoors and you're <laughs> into, like, people, like, learning about people, why they do certain things, like, Survivor's a perfect show. Yeah. I need to check it out. I'll definitely look into it. Yeah. Yeah. Aren't there, like, a, t- a ton of seasons? Yeah. So this one's their 40. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the most successful TV show in history. That's absurd. Yeah, because they do two seasons a year. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Huh. But they've been off air ever since COVID. They haven't been able to film mm. due to COVID restrictions because they're literally having to put a bunch of people close together. Yeah. Um, huh. so it's the first season, first new season in like two years. Very interesting. Yeah. 
It's cool. Huh. I have to get into that. Maybe I'll start watching it. There's a lot of drama in that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There is. But, you know, it's not like... You know, it's not like bachelorette drama. It's just like... Oh, yeah. Well, nothing gets worse than that. Yeah, I mean, it's just... I mean, hell, you're competing for a million dollars. And then a lot of people, like, now that it's the 41st season, almost all of them, like, they grew up. It was their dream to play Survivor. So they're mm-hmm. just, like, constantly, like, terrified that they're going to get voted out and their dream's going to be over. Yeah. So it's just, like, so much pressure. Mm-hmm. Um, so you really get to see, like, people's personalities. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And they also play, like, a lot of games and stuff, too. Like... Cause don't you like, it, bro? It's no joke. Like they're starving out there. Like, yeah. They don't have stuff to eat. Like it literally. They're living out in the elements. They don't have shelter. Like. Yeah. And then they make them compete in these physical challenges. So like you're really stripping everything away from someone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then you're stuck on an island with the same. Twenty people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that can be annoying. Yeah. So. It's just a recipe for a happy time. Hmm. Yeah. Well, good. Some good uh, movies there. And TV shows. Yep. Well, do we have anything else for this week? Well, I have a peeve. <laughs> I, I, I just think of something new every week. <laughs> What we got? Well, I was at the gas station. And I was waiting on some gas because there was a line. And the person in front of me got out of their car and went inside and did not fill up gas. And their car was just in the way. They didn't park it in a parking spot. And so I was just sitting there, waiting on them to, how, however long they were going to spend in the store, so they could just leave. And that's my, I hate when people leave their car parked at the pump, when they're not pumping. Yeah, I mean, you should be able to look around and see that there are people waiting, and you should go park it. Yeah, especially when people are waiting. Yes. If there's no one there. It doesn't matter. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I was literally, I was parked behind them, like, or not even parked, like, you know, I was waiting behind them. Yeah. And I just left it there and walked inside. Well, while we're on the topic, I have a big pet peeve that yeah. I realized today. All right. What is it? So when there is a damn uh, preacher on every corner of every street for five blocks and you're just constantly getting harassed and handed a new testament (laughs) this shit today literally we everywhere we walked every single street corner there was a man posted up for jesus uh yeah it was brutal it was so annoying (laughs) literally at an intersection there's four corners there would be somebody on every fucking corner. <laughs> Dude, I have never seen such a commitment. <laughs> and, and, and every single one of them would ask you when you walked by, and it's like, I know you just saw me tell him no. <laughs> <laughs> like It was oh, really funny. I was so fed up. They were, like, they were nice about it, you know? They weren't, like, some people can just, like, harass you. They were just, like, there and they'd ask you but there were so many of them <laughs> bro i mean there had to be like 50 yeah i mean it was literally every intersection and there's a lot of intersections <laughs> that we went every we walked by they're posted on all four corners of that intersection yeah oh my god it, it was <laughs> it was crazy yeah they had the whole church rolling up i mean they spent twenty thousand dollars on bibles <laughs> There were so many. Yeah. I mean, it was yeah. ridiculous. I, yeah, it was crazy. I've never seen anything like that. Like that many people. And I'm sure there were more uh, like surround, surrounding the campus other than where we were at, too. There had to have been. 
just yeah. standing around campus too. It was it was nuts. But they never said like where they were were from. They were just like, take this. <laughs> like, I don't know. It annoys me when people are like there to do that, and they don't like actually talk to you. Too, they're just like slap it in your face. Yeah, that's frustrating. That's not like constructive. I have absolutely no interest in that anymore. Yeah. It's just like, I don't know. When it, I get what you're saying, and but then also when it when people do actually try and talk to you, it almost feels like a. It's like a pity thing, at least to me. A lot of the. That's time. true. A lot of the time, it is. Yeah. Well, they just need to learn some sales tactics here. <laughs> <laughs> you they need to the teach worst, them, Grant. Bro, they have the worst pitch I've ever seen in my life. Like, <laughs> this is literally what I do for a living now. <laughs> I randomly walk up to people, convince them to change their cell phone carrier. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yep. But like, Jesus Christ, their pitch is terrible. Yeah, it's just pretty creepy. Yeah. I just, oh. God, I hated it so much. It was funny. And uh, that's funny. It's really funny because that was the one day. I, I've never seen them do that before. <laughs> I have not experienced this before, but I did today with Grant. <laughs> the one day we're trying to take a peaceful stroll. Yeah, and we walked around, like, for a couple hours. So it was yeah. on campus? Yeah, yeah. 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 It, yeah. Yeah, we walked all over that place. And they were everywhere. I feel like a lot of the times, I don't like when they do, when they're on like the corners of the streets and stuff. I wish they would have a, a tent set up if they could and have like a booth kind of thing where they, if you want to talk to them, you could talk to them. I think that works out a lot better. Yeah. Um, and I've seen people do that. There people do that all the time. They have like literally an outdoor tent set up on like, there's like plenty of places to do it on campus. Yeah. That's and the way to do it. Yeah. People have done that before. That's what I see most of the time. Um, cause then people that want to talk to you will come up to you. Yeah. And you're also like there, like you're open, you're like getting attention, um, but not bothering people. Um, and yeah, that was, that's the way to do it. I just looked at my step count. Uh, 12,000 steps today. Yeah. I have 9,000. We got a lot in. Yeah. A lot less than two. Oh, oh buddy. <laughs> 373. <laughs> how many? Wait, how many? 2,000. 2,000? Yeah, and I even hiked out to the rocks there today. Boy, take that off, go throw it in your dryer. You need to get those steps up. <laughs> I know, man. Slack them today. I need to jiggle this thing around. <laughs> uh, you know why? It's because I skipped class today. I didn't walk to class. Oh, you skipped class Skipping. Mm. I had slept in. I could not do it today. Skipping. No, Boys, I got senioritis real bad, and I don't know how to fix it. Yeah, well, as long as you doesn't care. as long as you graduate, that's what I'm saying, man. Don't skip out of graduation. I know. I gotta keep that GPA. There you go. Oh. So close to the finish line. Bro, well, get that three five. Get a three point five. Yeah. I don't think it's possible for me to raise my GPA that much <laughs> if I were to get out. <laughs> oh god. You um <laughs> It's not possible. It's raising it three points. There's no way. Three points? You like point it's three? Currently one point five. No, I'm sitting There's at zero point five. <laughs> I'm sitting at three point two. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh I, I was gonna say I'm sure that uh, through the rec department, you probably don't have to worry about skipping. Probably get like five skips a semester. No? No? You gotta be no. there? 
Not necessarily. You gotta be there. All right. Well, it's not fair. a sunny day clause where you can miss if it's nice weather out. Uh, no. The opposite of adverse weather. <laughs> <laughs> also, keep in mind, two of my I only have four classes at the moment. Two of them are not in the rec department. So. Oh. Gotcha. One is business class, which is a very strict attendance policy. Oh, is it like one of those annoying business classes, like very general? Entrepreneurship. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. No one likes that class. <laughs> I actually really like it, though. Oh, you, you do like it? It's good? Yeah. The professor like is really good. Oh, what good. What do they teach you in there? That's good. What do we do in there? Yeah, like what do they teach you? Uh, We talk about... Just like, the, it's really all about the mindset of how to start a business or a company. Mm -hmm. So like what, you talk about like the importance of like problem solving, self-sufficiency, like strategic thinking. Yeah, problem solving, strategic thinking, like, um, I don't know, I need my notes. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't, he didn't really retain any of that. Them. Yeah. <laughs> I'll send you some PowerPoints. <laughs> no, there's like there's, the Zoom link. there's different theories, like and ways that you have to work through things. Um, but and it all like inter intersects with the market. It's just it's really it's nice because it's learning how if you do want to start a venture like that, then understanding how it's gonna play into your market and what order you should do it in, like, uh, it's like, if, for example, like, if you have an idea, it's best to, like, a lot of people think, that, like, they should keep the idea to themselves so nobody steals it, mm -hmm. and they can realize it at first, but really, it's better, it's in your best interest to talk to as many people as you can, to get all the feedback, and you can improve your idea as best as you can. Most people aren't going to start a business. So, more than likely, nobody's going to steal your idea. And yeah, even if they, do, if they do steal your idea, they shouldn't be able to steal it and pull it off. Like, it should be a unique enough idea that only you will get it done um, in your vision. But, I don't know. There's a little intro lesson to entrepreneurship for you. Thank you. I'm fired up. Yeah. No, legitimately though, it kind of makes you want to start a business or like, just like mess with something. Cause you can do, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can make an app or, mm -hmm. I don't know, it's, it's really not that hard. You know, I've, yeah. uh, I've actually, okay, more money gets involved. Yeah. I've actually been thinking about starting a business. You should. Um, dog sitting. <laughs> It's, yeah. um, like, I have dog sit this past month, and I'm going to dog sit next month. And I was like, people are reaching out to me to do this. Yeah. If I start reaching out to people to do this. Hey, it's a little like, bit of dog sitting. Dude, and there's actually a lot of money involved in it. Like, people pay a lot of money to have their dog taken care of. Yeah. You know, because you need to. <laughs> and, like... I don't know. I feel like it would be really easy and also it's fun. Like, I like dogs, so. I had a friend in high school. The people he dog sitted for would pay him 100 bucks a day. Oh my god. Damn. That's insane. Ridiculous. Who are those people? I don't remember. <laughs> that's nuts. That's, how, that's a hotel. But I envied him for it. Yeah. Yeah, he's got the hookup. Yeah. I mean, I made decent money dog sitting when I was yeah. in school, so... Yeah, I'm thinking about trying to do it more. You should, because I don't know... If anybody's really... That's, that'd be an interesting idea, because... It's like from the candles or something. I don't know if anyone's trying to start a business yeah i mean there's always kennels out there but like a lot of people don't like that because they don't like you know it's a kennel right yes so, take your dog 
else. Exactly. So if you, you know, but if you have someone that you trust, you give their dog, you, you know, you let them take care of your dog. It's a lot better, yeah. you know, situation. So they get more love. Good idea. Yeah. Might be, might be rich for the city. Yeah. Trey's dog sitting. Trey's dogs. Well, we can work on the name. Okay. <laughs> Thaddeus. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> Just Thaddeus, no context. That's what yeah, it is. Name Thaddeus. Yeah. The problem. Like ass, dogs and foot massage. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I think the competition would just be like you know they have like apps now for yeah, like was... that so but I mean it would be a local thing like I would just make connections people I know yeah friends or of friends yeah. this is true I could I don't know how to do that but I could make a more innovative app yeah just like an app that like people can find dog sitters Go. yeah that's the thing that's what i was talking about that's the thing really? yeah that's that's what i was talking about that would be the problem my you that can, would be my competition you can kind of create an app on it's google something but i think it's google slides but there's a program in there in the where you can they create an app and actually view it as mobile. Mm -hmm. platform, but it's really cool. Yeah. But, yeah. You can make like a Tinder for dogs. So like, <laughs> you know, when a dog's going to be alone for a couple of days, it can just go, you know, <gasps> find a match and hang out. I think Legit you're a genius. <laughs> Legitimately, that was one of my business ideas for an assignment I had. Tinder for dogs? Are you fucking right, kidding me? No, I'm I'm actually serious. But it's not necessary. It's not like it's not Tinder for dogs. Like dogs aren't swiping. <laughs> but, like your owners, like people are always looking for play dates for their dogs. And stuff. So yo, it would be like Tinder, but you would be trying to find other people with dogs that you can meet up and your dogs go to get together. That is genius. Not a bad idea. You need to make this. You might make a, you might make a love connection too. So it could be real to <laughs> Never know. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll, I'll get it get it off the ground. Yeah, do it. It's in development stages now, as in it's in my brain. Let's so. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I just realized my, my knee has been in the brain for a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> been relaxing. Yeah, it's a good time. It's been a good podcast. It has been a good podcast. I feel like Grant's laughing at it. <laughs> I am laughing at it, but it legitimately is a good idea. It, it is, seriously. I, I, I'm trying to think if there's something like that. Like... Not Maybe like a Facebook group, you know. There's a Facebook group for everything. Yeah. There is. Yeah. I guess that. Yeah. Perfect well, challenge. Thing, even if there is a Facebook group, that proves that there's a market for it. So then, by creating a platform for it specifically. For it. Yeah, because yeah. not everybody has Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I don't know how you'd necessarily make money from that. But. No, ads. Yeah, I guess ads. Nobody's going to be paying a subscription. Yeah. Well, you'd have that too. Multiple chances of revenue. Yeah. But, like, ads is the answer to everything. Yeah, that's true. Basically. Now, it was some background yeah. checks. I'm trying to start off the Bluetooth. I don't even know any dog brain. <laughs> is that, isn't that actually... <laughs> oh, 
What is that? You just said Blue Chew and your sponsor? <laughs> no, Blue Chew. Is that dog food or is that like a Viagra type pill? Dude, that's that's the uh, <laughs> Viagra. That's <laughs> chewing gum. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit, uh, I'm not ever testing that. Never mind. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, I'll just get old Roy or something. <laughs> I was trying to be a dog food brand, so I couldn't think of it. Uh, isn't Chewy one? I think so. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I think I think it's Chewy. Mm-hmm. Purina. Mm-hmm. Purina. Iams. Iams. Blue mm-hmm. Buffalo, that's what it is. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna give my dog like a rare steak every day. <laughs> yeah. Give him a fat boy shake. Yeah. Somebody told me today that poodles are the smartest dogs out there. Is that true? There's no way. Um, yeah. They. I it was a Belgian Malinois. No, they're not the smartest. They're like top three, though. Seriously. Uh, I mean, I don't want to, like, brag, but Border Collie is definitely up there. <laughs> hey, Brad, are you a Border Collie or something? Uh, my, my dog is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna... Oh, look at that. 15 smartest dog breeds. This is the dailypaws.com, so very official. Skip the number one. So basically, number one is Border Collie. Damn. And number Whoa. two, number two is Poodle. Number three is German Shepherd. I'll take it. So. German Shepherd, far Belgian Malinois, <laughs> not in the top ten. What are they? Uh, the top ten. No, 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 no. Like, where are they? I, in the top ten. I don't see it. Are they 11 to 15? These people are racist. Uh, I mean, I, I really don't see it. Uh, Grant goes down. Seriously? No. Hold on. Maybe they just, like, included it in German Shepherd. That's very possible. Which is so, so wrong. It is. I would agree. What, uh, what are you on? What do you mean? Like, what's your uh, what website are you on? Dailypause.com. That was the first. I just looked it up. That's the first thing that came up. Son of a bitch. Yeah, no, it's not up here. Oh, I really like Dobermans. Those are good dogs. Mhm. They're cool. Rottweilers are smart. Interesting. Yeah, Border Collie is the smartest dog. Boom. My dog is yeah. a genius, confirmed. Oh, Belgian Malinois, according to Reader's Digest, is the 15th smartest dog. There you go. Well, I was very wrong. What is Chihuahua? Dead last. Irrelevant. They're <laughs> Irrelevant. <dumb as> shit. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some other ones. What is like the classic, like it's a, the classic American house dog right now, like those small ones. Do my dog literally just stares at the wall and barks? <laughs> a cla- what do you mean a classic American house dog? It's like they're always, they're small and they're always like, they're usually white and they're fluffy. Like a Yorkie? I guess. Is it a Yorkie? No, 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 it's not that. I don't know. All fluffy and white. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a Yorkie, it's a Corgi, it's a uh, Terriers. They're always so tiny. Yorkies. No, I but was... I don't think it's a Yorkie. It may be, I don't know. But I feel like Yorkies aren't stupid. A Terrier? Okay, honestly, some kind of Terrier? It might be a terrier, I guess. When I think of a typical American dog, I think of like a lab. Oh, is it like a Shih Tzu? 
Is that what I'm thinking of? I don't know. I don't even know what that looks like. Yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm thinking of. Is that the classic American dog? It's no, so I just know a lot of people that have them. That's weird, bro. Because, like, they're small and easy to take care of, I guess, and they live a long time, so. I don't think I've ever seen a Shih Tzu in my life. Really? Look it up. I definitely know lots of people that have this type of dog. Maybe it's just a my area There's thing. Probably- there's only one dog for me for the rest of my life. Huh. It's German Shepherd. I think it, I think it's Australian Shepherd for me. I I could do an Australian Shepherd. They're dope. Any type of lab retriever or shepherd I'm taking. Yeah. They're all great. Also Dobermans. Yeah. I like Dobermans. I like pit bulls too. Riley, what do you think about pugs? They're fine. Okay. I they're think cute. I think they're so cute. I own a pug. Pugs are definitely cute. Yeah, I like pugs. Okay. Would you do a pug or a French bulldog? I would do a pug. I think a pug. I'd, I'd have to see a sign of myself. <laughs> I def- See, I'd go with the Frenchie. You're judging just by looks. That's a shame. I don't know. The Frenchies are also can be ugly. Wait, no. One bulldog's ugly and one bulldog's not. Which one? Yeah, yeah. Frenchies are fucking adorable. And yeah. The English bulldogs are ugly as hell. Yeah. Uh, that's what I'm I, I, I would do. Yeah. See. There's three bulldogs, right? There's American. There's British, and there's a Frenchie. Yeah. Okay. And they look drastically different. Yeah. Frenchies are so cute. Oh, you know what? The dog I'm about to dog sit kind of looks like a uh, American Bulldog. It's like a mutt completely, but that or like a Bull Terrier. Interesting. Yeah. I don't like when people just call their dog like a mutt because I'm like, they're definitely, it's got to be close to something. Oh, yeah. Like, there's so many different yeah. breeds out there. Like, just get take a, a generic, guess. yeah, take a guess. Yeah. <laughs> what does that look like? <laughs> like, yeah. is it five pounds or is it a hundred pounds? Like, <laughs> give me some sort of reference, <laughs> at least. It's funny. Yeah, especially if they're describing it. Like, it's one thing if you're seeing it and they're like, oh, the dog is in there. Like, oh, it's a mutt. But if you're, like, asking somebody about their dog and they're like, oh, it's a mutt, that doesn't tell me anything. Yeah, yeah. If you're there, it's different. Yeah. But if you tell me about your dog, like, I need more description than it's a mutt. (laughs) Yeah. It doesn't help me at all. That's like, oh, tell me about your kid. That's a boy. (laughs) (laughs) What could mean so many different things? Yeah, exactly. It's a boy. <laughs> it's a boy. <laughs> Maybe it's like, tell me about your kid. It's a human. Yeah, that's, yeah. 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 It's more like that. Mm-hmm. At least with it's a boy, then you're getting a... Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's a mud doesn't help you open up. Nope. Nope. Not at all. That's kind of like code for, hey, I didn't spend any money on this dog. I got it from the shelter. <laughs> that's all that. That's all the information you get from that. Yeah, yeah which is what people should do, honestly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I definitely... I'm never going to like buy a dog. There's so I'm many shelters. There's a lot of pit bulls in shelters. There are, and normally, unfortunately, they're in kill shelters. Yep. Yeah. Go get your pit bull, folks. So what does that mean? Does that mean they literally kill them if they don't get adopted? Yes. Yeah. God damn. Mm-hmm. The youth How have- long do they have? I don't think it's very long, because there's just so many dogs that yeah. if, they've, if they're if they full, then that's what happens. It's really sad. Hmm. Yep. 
But uh, I'm not going to cry on this podcast, so let's move on. <laughs> the Panthers are 3 now. <laughs> the Panthers are 3 now. Yes. That's exciting. We have to play the Cowboys on Sunday, though, so uh, we'll, <laughs> we'll see. But there's 3 now for now. We're going to win. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to be so pissed if our <laughs> first loss is to the Cowboys. I know. That's going to be annoying. But the Cowboys are good this year. So we'll see. And Riley, I don't know if you know, but we don't have Christian McCaffrey. He got a hamstring injury. I did not know that, but that is not good news for us. Yeah, so he'll be out two to three games. Oh, wow. Yeah, hopefully two. Yeah. Yep. That's not good. But the rest of the team is pretty much good to go. So, no excuses. Next man up. Good. Oh, yeah. Well, all right. Um, do you all have anything else for this week? No, sir. Thanks. All right. Well, then we will wrap it up. Um Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Um, this was a bit of a rush episode. We're all pretty busy right now. so. Uh, but, hey, we made it happen. We stayed up late. 100 mil and still on the grind, you know. Yes, um, sir. <laughs> shout out at J. Cole. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for tuning in. And give us a follow on Twitter at Take the Series Podcast. And uh, email us at Take the Series Podcast at gmail.com. Uh, Peace out. Peace, guys. Adios.